So by 2020, the offshore wind industry in the UK will be providing enough clean green electricity for 8 million homes. It will have attracted about £30 billion of private sector investment. It will be employing tens of thousands of people across the UK. Uh, and the great thing is now what we're seeing is that offshore wind is doing all of that while dramatically reducing its costs. Most of the cost reduction can be attributed to the fact that we're now deploying much bigger turbines than we ever thought we would be deploying at this point in time. So when you have a bigger turbine, you're capturing more wind, you're producing more electricity, but also you're having a diluting effect of all the other costs. So for every big turbine you've got, you need less foundations, less cable, less installation activities, less inspections, less overhauls. And that means that the wind farm becomes so much more efficient and so much cheaper to run. Offshore wind really matters in the UK because the UK has a very specific set of energy challenges ahead of it. So by the government's own figures, between now and 2024, about 40% of our generating capacity in the UK is going to shut down. So old coal, old gas, old nuclear. And so that has to be replaced. If we're going to keep the lights on in this country, we basically have to rebuild about 50% of our electricity infrastructure in the next eight to 10 years. 